Hi friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. It's so good to see you as always. Well, I'm outside on my front porch because today we're gonna do my Valentine home tour and I'm very excited to share it with you. I finally have a day where the sun shines out and the weather's pretty nice today. I think it's supposed to get up to like 65-ish or something. So I'm out on the front porch and this is where we're gonna start the tour. So uh, let's get started on it. Um, you can kind of see behind me what I've got going on back there. And let me just kind of show you the sky we're having today. Look at the blue sky. Is that not gorgeous? I tell you, well, my hand's shaking, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, the, 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 it's just turned out to be a beautiful day. Uh, we have had rain for the last several days. So anyways, let me turn around and show you what I've done on the front porch. I've got all my Valentine stuff out. Um, not a lot. Um, right here, you know, I did put, I had to take all my, all my signs down because we had a big storm here a, a week or so ago. Um, but anyways, I do have this area here just decorated with a bow. You know, I made these last year um, and they just have really pretty colors in them, you know, for um, Valentine's Day. And I just have a candle in there and that, all that stuff in there. And then I have this Welcome to our home, little planter with a plant in it. And um, I brought, I should have brought out my red and white. I have little red, white, and pillows, but I forgot about them, y'all. But over here, I uh, put that heart, and I think that's from Walmart last year, and, of course, my welcome sign and my wreath. And down here in my red truck, I put a bunch of glittery hearts in the back of it. And so that's kind of that corner. And then on my wreath... This is that wreath I made where I could interchange the bows. And so I found some ribbon and made that little bow and it has all the hearts on it and everything. And I think it looks cute. I just think this is such a versatile um, type of wreath because you can use it all year long. It has greenery and all the magnolia blossoms and everything in it. So you just switch out your bow. And of course it has cotton for my farmhousey look. And you can change out the bow to whatever you want it to be. And it kind of works with the season. So I just decided to go with that one. Um, I was going to bring down my Valentine wreaths, but I just wasn't feeling like I wanted to. So I had this one handy in the house, so I just throw a bow on there, and that's my Valentine wreath for today or this year. And then down here on my step, I have another lantern, the black one, um, that has that same bow on it. And then I just have um, a little... Happy Valentine's Day heart hanging there. And then over here I have that new one that I got from, oh, didn't I pick that up at Walmart? No, I think I got that from Hobby Lobby. And I liked it because it has this um, red and white checked ribbon. And it's just so cute. It says love. So that's how it looks. Let me show you the whole porch. All those little pops of red definitely tell you that it's Valentine's Day coming up. So let's walk inside now. Let me see if I can get to the door handle. Okay. All right. And in here, in the entryway, I always decorate my entryway. Sorry for that. Uh, over here, I've got all these um, signs. And um, I think, I want to say I got this one from Hobby Lobby. And then these two are from Dollar Tree. And I just have a little group of them here. Um, I changed this around. It had different pictures on it last year. So I've got one that says, follow your heart, and one that says, love, and of course, the truck with the Valentine hearts coming out the back. And um, this, I, I uh, kind of kept it the same as it was last year, although I did add in a couple of other things, I think, into the whole table. Um, you know, I, I added this in. I normally uh, had that someplace else, that little, it's just a wood piece with a gingham, a little heart, you know, gingham fabric on there with um, a little button. And then I've got some candles like this. I haven't lit them, but um, then here, I just, I kept this kind of the same. I think I had that, this here. No, I didn't have that here last year, I don't think. Um, but I've got these little vintagey um, little people. Uh, that's a girl. Um, I have a couple of things that are kind of vintage looking. And then this is a vase from my mom, my um, grandmother. And when you hold it up into the light, it almost looks purple. And then I've just got some red roses in there. 
And over here, I just put a little picture with greenery just to bring some green, you know, kind of bring the green over this way. And then this is my other little guy. It's a little boy, um, Valentine. And I just put a little felt hard under there and stuck him under a cloche. And then up here, I did this last year. I put this garland in here and just twisted it in there for the little hearts. And um, then I, on each one of my cottons, I put you know, one of those big glittery hearts is stuck that in there. And just that little pop of red, you know, it just makes it look valentine -y. And then down below, I just put some felt hearts that um, I, I've had these for years. And then I have that love sign over here that is from Dollar Tree. So let's walk into this room. Oh, I wanted to show y'all, I painted my art niches, so there's nothing up there right now. But I painted them. Remember they had kind of a a rust color. Well, I painted them so that they would look better for the, you know, sale of, sale of the house. So anyways, I painted all of them, including that one over there. So let's go walk over here where we're at the, I'm sorry, I'm shaking this so much, um, at my fireplace area. On here, you know, I showed you how I had decorated this when I changed everything up and set this tray here. Only thing I added was this, um, these two little um, ticking stripe hearts that I put some stuffing in, I made last year. And then of course the beautiful Ray Dunn candle, I love that pink. And then I have this little sign that says, love you to the moon and back, it lights up. Um, that's from Walmart actually. And so that's how that looks, it's just very, you know, kind of simple. And then up here on the mantle, I um, have a lot, of, you know, just a few of my ticking hearts up there. I put my my uh, garland back out here, my like everyday garland, and then I put the hearts up there. I've got one there and one right there. I just kind of set them sporadically up here on here. And I've got one over here, there, and towards the end. And it just is very neutral, and I kind of like it. It's just a neutral Valentine look. But, of course, to make sure that you knew it was Valentine's Day, I put this love banner here with that red heart. So you know that I'm celebrating Valentine's Day, even though I don't have any red up here. So it's all very just um, kind of simple and um, farmy looking. So that's how I did the mantle. And then over here... I think I showed you that I did this. I didn't add anything here, but I um, decorated this the other day and put that house in there that I, get, I got from Amy for Christmas. So let's walk over here. Now, this is where I gotta have a lot of red, so I'll show you that in a second. But on this table where I keep this other two-tier tray, I did decorate it for Valentine's Day. And I've got that sweet little house, which I forgot to turn on. Let me see if I can do this one-handed without dropping it. I'll have to put it down. There we go. This sweet little house is so cute. Look at it. That little heart. And then I, I got that one from Hobby Lobby, and I just love it because it's got, it's like little roses that are made out of, like, fabric or something. Aren't they cute? And it says, love nest. How sweet is that? And then these little hearts, I bought a package of these. Of course, it's going to fall down on me. Um, from Hobby Lobby. I went back to get some more and they didn't have any. And then I did buy um, a little thing that has a bunch of these balls in it. Um, they're much larger. I got it from Walmart and it says um, like Opal House. I think it's from Opal House and they had these in with it. And so I took a few of them out and just added that the, the little pops of red. Left pretty much everything in here I had before. I added back in a little bit of the lamb's ear. And then of course I have another one of those little red ones here. And then on the back, I did the same thing. I've got, you know, another one of those red, and then I have a little bit of red down here. So that's how I decorated that for Valentine's Day. And it's super cute, I think. It's just very, you know, kind of simple, but I love it. It's adorable and cute, and I just, I love these, and I love that little sign, and that little, that little house is so cute. So cute. All right, so let's look at my hutch. This is probably the most valentine -y spot in my house. <laughs> I did my, over here I did my um, ladder in my little cozy corner area. 
And here I've got another bow that I made last year that has, um, this one has a little glitter on it. And so it has little glitter hearts that I stuck in there. And then I just have some ornaments in there and uh, stuff to bring in that red in there. And then on my ladder, um, I put a, that love sign. And of course this love uh, that I made last year, I just set that on one of the rungs. And then I kept most of the stuff on here. I already had these, you know, beads and it says K. And then I have these wool beads that go down. But I added this Pitberry garland and it has these little metal hearts on it. It's so cute. I got this from Hobby Lobby last year. I have two of them. And I just strung that all the way down. And then in the bottom, I've just uh, put a little cotton wreath and a few of these other hearts. And I think it looks really cute. It's, you know, it's adorable, I think. It's just simple and cute, and it just has Happy Valentine's. And then um, this little sign that says Hugs and Kisses and Valentine Wishes, I made that a couple of years ago. But I think this area looks cute. I I'm, I'm, think the ladder looks nice. I was gonna put a bow on it, and then I decided not to because I already have a bow over here, so I left it alone. But over here on my hutch is where I really kind of decorated. I'll kind of give you a, a look of it. And then I'll kind of talk about it. So up on the little handles, I have all these little signs that I, I put, picked those at Hobby Lobby. So we've got one that says, love you to the moon and back. And then you have one that says, you have my whole heart for my whole life. And they're all black and red. And then love you more. And then down here on the bottom, I just added um, little signs and some of those other pillows that I made, the hearts, with uh, that black and white checked pa uh, fabric. And I have a happy Valentine's there. You can kind of see the theme. It's red and black. My new blessed candle that I picked up here not too long ago. I've got some of these red felt hearts and pink ones hanging from those knobs. I've got this little love sign there. Some more of those hearts back there that I made and some right there that are, you know, puffs and I put little trim around there. Aren't they cute? They're so adorable. And um, then over here I have another sign back there in the back and another, another little heart pillow. So that's how my um, hutch looks. Let me walk over this way so you can see the whole thing. So I think it, it looks really pretty with all that black and red. And of course the pops of green are nice too and I, I'm, I'm happy with it. It came out really cute. So, and I think this area, like I said, is probably where I have the most, most of the um, Valentine's stuff. And then I have one little sign over here that I got from, that sign's from um, Dollar Tree. Let's walk into the kitchen. Now I did decorate in here a little bit Let's turn around to this, my, you know, this, I love this little shelf area. So what I did here is I, I had picked up this sign recently at Walmart. I think they got that at Walmart. Well, no, it doesn't have a sign. It doesn't have any sign up. I'm pretty sure it was from Walmart. And I left my barn up there that I used during Christmas time. And I added in just a little Pitberry garland that goes up all the way around. And just some of those other hearts that I had. I had these hearts from, I picked those up high, hobby like, yes, last year. And they're just like burlap hearts. And then a little pink one. And then this, I filled it with some red roses and it looks cute. And then we've got another heart over there by the cow. And um, in the bottom, I just added some pit berries into my Ray Dunn stuff and some hearts. And I think it just looks super cute. So there is that setup. Let's see, we got, what? how many days until Valentine's Day? I'm just getting this done. <laughs> it just, it took me a while to get, I mean, we've had so much rain and nasty weather. So anyways, that's how that looks. And I did a little bit up here in my sink area. 
Um, I just have that plant and I stuck a little heart in there and then I have these two candle holders and I add a little hearts here on each end of those and of course my bird and my birdhouse. So that's how that looks. And then I shot a picture of this the other day for you. I think I put it on my... Oh, I did tell you I was going to do my home, I'm a home tour at some point. But I put it that lavender that I got from Walmart. And doesn't that look great in this picture? I love this little setup. And I just happen to have this purple candle. And look how well that color matches with that. <laughs> it's amazing, right? My mom got me this candle back several years ago. And I just really haven't burned it. But I love the purple. And I just added a little purple heart. And that's how that looks. Isn't it pretty? I love that. Love that. And then over here on this side, where my coffee maker is, I did this two-tier tray. And I think it's looking extra cute. Um, down here on the bottom, I have my little salt and pepper shaker that's like a balloon. And I added some cotton and, and some of that red checked heart, which I love those. That little sign, that, that's the one I picked up at um, Walmart. It fit right in there, it looks so cute. And so I put that other little house in here that I got from Hobby Lobby, and then I already had one of these houses from Target, I think it was. And then Target had this sweet little pom-pom garland, and so I picked it up off the dollar spot, and I just kind of weaved it in here. You can see it here and there. And over this way, I did this little jar that I have a bow on it, and it has little hearts in it, and of course, a little more of that pom-pom stuff is draping here. But that has those conversation hearts in it. Isn't it cute? We don't like to eat those, but <laughs> they are adorable. And then up on the top, I've got this little sign that says home. And it's just got a heart. And, of course, another heart here. And then there's more of that garland. And I still have some of this in there in my lamb's ear. And I kind of mixed it all together. And I've got another heart over this direction and some more of that pom-pom stuff. It's so cute. Isn't that pom-pom thing so cute? So that looks all valentine -y. So pink, you know, white and red. So it looks cute, cute. I like it. Um, I did not do my hutch or anything like that because I just don't have that much valentines. But over here in the corner, this corner of my kitchen, you can see I have some valentines. So I set this little um, red cake stand thingy, and I set this on top of it and put some pink roses in there and that says happy valentine's day and then of course i have some of these little hearts sitting on there and that's another sign i had so i stuck it on top of my recipe box and then these are two bowls that i put up like that so i could set this in there and i think that looks cute just a little bit of valentine's and then i did this two-tier stand that i always keep over here and I've got that love sign and a little succulent and a little bottle with a couple of sparkly heart picks in there. And then here on the bottom, I have another sign. It says, all you need is love. And it's got a bicycle on it. I don't know if you can see that. And then I put this uh, little camper that says love. And it's so adorable. I got that from Walmart last year. So that's how that looks. And then up here, I hung my um, one lone Ray Dunn Valentine mug. <laughs> and then I've got these that are from the grocery store. And, you know, this one has hearts on it, one heart. And then this one has, you know, hearts like that on it. So I have to hang those there. And then I have a plate, a heart-shaped plate on top of my plates. So that's what I did. And then I put some candy in this bowl. These are some flowers I got for my birthday. They're still looking okay. So let's walk in here. I uh, put this sign up that I just, I, I got this one this year from Dollar Tree and I love it because it's hug, kisses, and love. And I just like that it has that red and white check. Isn't that cute? And then over here, I didn't, I, you know, I, Put a little bit of red stuff in here in the candle, and then I stuck a sign there. You know, this love is all you need. And I think I bought that sign from Hobby, no, Walmart. So, 
That's how that looks. And then let me show you my mantle. I'm really happy with the mantle. I love it. It's just so sweet. I got that garland at Hobby Lobby this year and I just love the darndest out of it. I mean, it's just so stinking cute with those hearts and the pom-poms, you know, these are all, they're filled hearts and they just have the pom-poms and the hearts. And I just think it's so sweet. So I never really decorate y'all with pink, but this year I put pink in here and I love it. Um, this little stand I got from Target Dollar Spot and it's just pink, so I sunk some pink flowers in there. I'm sure I got those at Dollar Tree. I put my garland, you know, I've been keeping that up there. I changed into my white hydrangeas because this is kind of white and pink area. And then that little pitcher that I got at TJ Maxx, I added some white roses to it. And then I added these little um, hearts that have the moss on them. Um, there's one on each side. I don't think I showed you the other one. Over here on this side, there's one sitting against that candlestick too. So that's what I did with the mantle. And you know what? I love it. I mean, I really do. I love it looking just so sweet. I just, to me, it seems sweet. I love the accents of pink. And I, like I said, I normally don't decorate with pink. So I'm loving this. I think it's so cute. So that's my mantle. And then over here, I, um, put a bow on top of this lantern and I put in some pit berry around there and then this little sign I I put these I made these a couple years ago it says be my Mount Valentine so that's what I did right there so you can see it I think it looks cute well that's my Valentine tour there's some balloons I got for my birthday. They're still hanging around. <laughs> and then you see all the coats because the weather's changing constantly. But uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed my little home tour. I'm hoping to bring you um, some new... Um, oh, I didn't show you this here in the hallway. I'm sorry I don't have the light on. Well, anyways, I said happy Valentine's there, and then I have these little hearts and these little clips, you know, just hold the hearts on there and it looks cute. You know, it's just simple, but cute. Anyways, what I was going to say is, um, I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby because, um, remember I bought that arch that I'm going to put here. Well, I want to look for a couple of like sconces or something to set on each side. Cause I think it needs to fill it up a little bit more. It'll be too, you know, it'll be just, too, it'll be too, not enough stuff up there if I don't have something that can go on each side of it. And then of course my um, planters, you know, that I'm gonna do on the bottom. But I feel like th this is a very, I mean, look how tall that is. Let me step back. You see how big that space is? Um, I wanna be able to, you know, it needs to look good in there. So I'm hoping it's gonna look okay, but I'm gonna go look for some sconces at um, Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to try to get down there this weekend. Maybe my daughter will go with me. She, she's coming in. And of course she loves, <laughs> loves to go shopping. So I think we're going to do that next week. Um, we're going to get these um, decorated in a video. And then I'm still working on the bathroom. So I want to give you an update on how it's coming along. I have still get, got more wallpaper to take down. Um, I hope it I can get some of that done maybe over the weekend. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing over the weekend. Um, we're supposed to have some information back from our builder, maybe on Tuesday. Yes, I hope so. And I'm super excited that we get to get to working on this. I'm just thrilled. But anyways, uh, that was my home tour, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again next time. Y'all have a fabulous weekend. Love you. Bye.